Now we're going to start putting a bit of colour on this. So I've got a pot of water and I've got my paintbrush. It's not a particularly tiny paintbrush, but it's got a nice point on the end so I can use it for everything. And the first thing I'm going to do is just apply some water and I'm going to start with the sky. So I'm going to just apply some water around the outside of the tree loosely. This is very sketchy and I'm not filling in the whole sky. What I want to do is give it just a little tiny piece of sky. And in order to do that, I'm just bringing water out to about here. Then I'm going to start throwing the water at it out here. This is just plain water for the minute. And I want it to start to splatter its way out. Then I'm going to pick up some of my Prussian blue ink. You can use all sorts of blues, of course. A little bit of kitchen roll in my hand as well because it's a bit too wet down there. There we are. Then I'm going to start. The ink will only go as far as the water goes. So I'm going to put a nice blue Mediterranean sky in there. Then I'm going to try, and you see how it's fading out by itself. Bit of tissue there, there's a bit too much water on there. And once I get to the outsides of the picture here, I'm going to be very brave and start to throw the blue at it. It's quite a dilute blue, quite a lot of water in it. That's nice. Now I can also just say, well, I wanted it a little bit stronger there, a little bit more out there. Now we've got a nice little bit of sky that's just giving us an impression that there's sky there. That's rather nice. A little bit going out further. There we are. There's my sky behind the building rather than putting a a nice big, rather than putting a big area. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw the flowers on the cherry. When you're drawing like this with inks or with watercolours, just keep moving to a new bit of the picture and allowing the last bit to dry. If you're using inks, oh that's a bit dark, put a bit more water with it. If you're using inks, be aware that they are permanent and once you've let them dry, you can't move them. So just be happy with what you've got. The ink is a bit bright, so I'm just going to dab it off like that. Make it into a bit more of a pale pink. Put a little bit of dark in with it. I want somewhere in the middle. And then there's definitely flowers down here. There's bits of gaps. You have to try to put them on randomly, which is about the hardest thing there is in painting. Just being random is very, very difficult, but you don't want them evenly spaced throughout your picture. They tend to be in clumps and even then we have to be very careful because everything in us wants to do six in a clump and then leave half an inch and do six in a clump and we've really got to try and get them on there randomly because nature doesn't arrange things in pretty patterns. So I'm going to work my way through, putting all these pink flowers where I want them. Sometimes they can merge together, get a bit of darker in them here and there. And sometimes they're going to be totally on their own. Work my way through, I have some of them coming down over this doorway. And some of them coming down over the next little window, which is really pretty and over the street here. Leave some gaps, because there are definitely some very dark gaps. And try to make all the clumps of flowers different sizes. You wouldn't believe how hard random is until you try to do it. So with, oh no, we make a different color down there. Just get to the end of the flowers. Then I'm going to choose a different colour. Okay. Right, we've got the pink on. 
I think we're going to do a little bit of the walls now. And for that, I am adding a bit of yellow to my pink. You may need to start a different bit in your palette. And maybe the tiniest hint of burnt sienna as well. I want to get a warm yellow ochre. So I'm doing a bit of mixing here. Let me bring my mixing palette over here. A little bit of this. This is a bit of yellow, a bit of pink, a bit of burnt sienna. I quite like that colour. And I'm going to dilute it loads and loads and loads. Okay. And then this is going to go on. It's not exactly the same colour, but it's a nice colour, which, is, which will sort of do it for me. This is going to go on the sides of the house here. There we are. And again, I'm not doing everything and it's just a little wash. Where I have put some extra pen into the doorways, have a look where I wet it now. It's going to go a lot darker and it's going to give me a shadow all by itself. Right, so I'm going to move on with that. Oh, let's do a bit up here. That's a bit strong, so a bit of tissue. Dab it off. There's something out there that's called dab it off, isn't there? I don't know. Okay, moving on. And I'm just putting little bits in. I'm not trying to neatly colour in. I'm trying to get something exciting going on the buildings rather than neatly colouring in. And if you can leave lit bits, it looks really nice. Don't try and colour everything in. Leave quite a lot of little bits of white on your paper and it gives it a lovely, lovely sketchy look. Again, I've penned in under here, look, with my water soluble pen so that when I wet it, we get a nice dark colour. And the same in these windows. I'm going to leave some flashes of light which will become like reflections. We are in a little bit in there. Let's move on down here. Drag some of that shadow down onto the wall. I'm not going to go too far down here. Maybe a little bit across there. A little bit. Oh, look, there's a nice little blue flick there from the sky. That's nice. We'll keep him. And then I'm going to darken down where I've put my pen. My soluble pen and on the side of that house. That one hasn't got much colour, has it? Let's give that a bit of colour. That's nicer. Bit of colour on there and on there. I'm going to just wet these because I've put soluble pen in there. So I'm going to wet it and drag the pen across. I think it could do with a little bit more, so I'll just make a bit of darker in my palette. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna, along with a little bit of Prussian blue. That will make me a really nice dark colour, and I'm going to go in here with that and allow that to run down the windows just a little bit. Not too much. There we are. That's rather nice. And a little bit in here. A bit too much blue in it. So I'm going to add a bit more brown. That's nicer. And again, keep it really wet. Let those colours run around where they want to. Maybe put a bit in there. And there and there. Let's have a look a little bit across the front here. Drag this across. Then that will be the main colours put in. And we're going to add some brighter colours at the end and a little pot of flowers. Let's move on to a couple of brighter colours. And now that the pink is dry enough, yeah, and the blue is dry enough. It doesn't have to be completely dry. 
because it's ink it's quite permanent I'm going to start to put some of the green on the tree now you must 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 avoid the pink if you go on top of the pink you're going to get a horrible dirty sludgy colour I could also use a bit more yellow in it here we are let's get some different colours going through make a slightly brighter yellow because I can put green over the top of it there we are and change it a little bit just trying to get some different colours into this tree whoops trying to avoid the pinks not always successfully but mostly I'm avoiding them so I'm trying to get a variety of greens as I go by just dropping some yellow in with it and where I've got that soluble pen underneath it's just going to go a little bit darker and when I get to the edges I'm just going to water it out a little bit and if it'll join in with the paint around it a little bit and soak in that's lovely and let everything blend in a little bit on the edges and out here I'm going to do just the same as I did in the sky I'm going to throw a bit of green at it so that this does the same thing as the sky there we are and just starts to dissolve out a little bit and get a nice edge let's put a bit more really dark in there where the shadows are same green I'm just putting it on a little bit thicker in places and then thinner in some other places get the whole of that tree going avoid the pinks at all times I'll get a bit of yellow in there and anytime you feel like it's a little bit too watery or it's getting away from you you can just dab it out a little bit I keep a bit of paper tissue in my hand for unruly inks a bit more dark that's a bit over the top there we are more dark over here again that's a bit too dark it's very very strong this this green ink and there we are and anywhere I want there to be a shadow I'm just putting the green ink a little bit stronger and then we end up with quite a few different tones on this nice tree Got a little bit of dark down here and again if it joins in with the colour of the doors and floods in that's really really nice this is just sketchbook stuff remember I quite like that that's lovely do you know what I dabbed all that pink out and now I'm thinking I might put a bit of dark back in at the end a little bit of burnt sienna on my stalk stem whatever it may be called and I'm going to just tone that down with a bit of Prussian blue just to make it a little darker and some of these doorways I'll also tone down a little bit or darken down rather with a bit of palette sludge whatever's on my palette all mixed together is absolutely fine just to get a bit of something happening across there and across here and if it wants to fade into the other things and just blend in a little bit that's absolutely fine just get the last of this on a little bit of color at the end up here and let's take a little bit of that yellow and splash it around the outside a little bit okay a little bit of orange on there get a little bright spot and a little bit of pink flowers on there and then we're going to do the road to finish it we're going to finish this off with I've just forgotten a little bit of green in there 
bit of green in there, a bit of green on the far side of that to, sh to just shadow it a little bit or whatever colour palette sludge you've got, just to shadow it. I want some of these colours to run down a little bit now. So I'm going to add some water to the street. Whatever wants to come out and join in with it is more than welcome. Bring some colours across the street like so. And I also want to just take maybe a bit of the pink, throw it on there, and just let it run down a little bit. Encourage it, encourage it to go downwards a little bit, throw it at your paper. So everything becomes just a little bit looser. Maybe a little bit of pink in there might be nice. Whoa, that's a bit much. Take a tissue, dab it off. Oh, that's fine, I like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of these yellows and we're just going to loosen the whole thing up a little bit. We are encourage them to run down the paper a bit. Bit of splatter at the bottom. Maybe just decide what to do with your colours a little bit. Anything that's a bit bright. Just dab it off a little bit and I just want to give these people in the middle a little bit of colour. Give her a little bit of that nice Prussian blue. It only needs to be a dollop of colour and nothing else. A little bit of burnt sienna on the little child. Dab it off a bit and maybe let's have a look. Oh, I think that's going to run but no matter. I'll put a bit of pink up there just because it needs it. And then we might sharpen up the pen a little in a minute and we'll be done. Okay, let's finish this off. You can come back now to your pen and you can just strengthen up some lines on the tree because sometimes they get a little bit lost. Strengthen up some outlines of some of the flowers, not all of them. Get a little bit and it's no more than little scribbles and you don't need them everywhere. But just a little bit gives you a nice little impression of what's going on and it's just going to tidy it up a little bit. Don't think that your lines have to match the ink. Your lines can go wherever you want them to go, out into the sky. Try to make the edge of the tree nice and jaggedy. Take some lines out and some little scribbles and lines. This is exactly what I would do if I was outside sketching. Start with a couple of pencil marks, put in the pen, drop in the colour and even if when you're outside sketching you only get as far as putting in the pen, that's absolutely fine or even just the pencil and you can carry on at home. Let's put in the front of this balcony and make these lines a little harder here. Strengthen up some of those. A little bit of strengthen up some of this and a few of the lines up here. And again, try and keep it all really sketchy. Nice loose lines. And if anywhere looks a little bit too tidy, you know, just go back in and rough it up a little bit. Make it all a bit sketchier. Maybe an idea of a bit of a pavement, a little bit of shadow under that tree, I think. A couple more lines around here. Make it nice and sketchy. Little shadow under the people. And I'm going to finish. I don't like this area over here because my paper was over it. I'm going to just get a bit of colour over that. It's a bit strong. Put a bit of brown with it. That's better. And I'm going to take the paper away and just try to break up that side a little bit with whatever colours you've got. Throw them on it. There we are, that's much, much nicer, isn't it, when it hasn't got a sharp edge at the end of the picture. 
just a bit of colour. You can also stop your colour much, much sooner and you can have your picture ending in just pen lines, which is really, really nice. But I think for now, that will do us. Let's bring up their shadows a little bit. Use some of this dark, soluble pen I've just put on to make some pools of shadow. And there we are, a bit of urban sketching for you. Thank you very much. I hope you will enjoy it. If you want any materials, get back to us, we can post them out to you, okay? And hopefully there'll be little enough to put in the post box so we don't have to go to the post office. If you need some inks or a pen, give us an email. Bye-bye.